What up, what up? We live right now, man. Moves in motion with Brian Luther King. Who we got in the building? It's Jay Bless from North Carolina. Shout out to Brian Luther King, Moves in Motion. Shout out to Strength in Numbers. We've oh, been no. doing some numbers. Shout hey. out to them. Um, <laughs> hey, shout out to Rez the Shine, too. No hey. cap. Happy shout birthday out. to me. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. Let's go. Happy birthday, Jay Bless. Appreciate it, man. Check this out. So we just gonna take a dive straight into it. Take us back to the beginning. Like, how was your upbringing? Shoot, two parent, two parents household. Like, okay. I ain't grow up poor, but I ain't grow up like rich. Okay. You know what like I'm saying? Middle. Yeah, middle class okay. type. So, um, but they both worked. They both made sure it was good. Me and my sister. Man, we've been through a lot for sure, but yeah. man, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a lot. You get what I'm saying? When you're going through a lot, yeah, it's hard. You feel me? When you're sure. trying to like conquer everything, God always got you though. You feel Straight me? Up. God always gonna have your back. God always gonna make make sure you got that confidence. Make sure you really trying to do it. Everything you you really trying to do. You know what I'm saying? So nah, straight up. How was it making the shift from Carolina to Atlanta? Hard to. Yeah. Um, I literally went out here for my birthday. It was like three years ago. Mm -hmm. And I went out here just to have some fun. Yeah. I ended up, me and my homeboy, we was um, actually working at Zaxby's in North Carolina together as like assistant managers. And we was always talking about going to Atlanta, like just changing scenery, yeah. doing this music thing, you know, trying to like really change everything for real. So <clears throat> in a sense, um, going through like when we moved out here we ain't had nowhere to go to be honest you feel me so we ended up just trying to do everything we need to do you know push through but we look i'm here you feel I'm me here. so that's all that really matters you know what yeah. i'm saying like straight up did that's you, all that really matters did you start music in carolina or did that is that something that you started when you came to atlanta honestly no carolina like okay. i was honestly doing band i was like in a marching band like when i was okay. like in high school, but yeah. I started like when I was in sixth grade playing the saxophone. Hey, shout out to the sax. You feel me? Alto? Actually, it was, uh, what's that? Yeah, it was auto. Actually, it was auto. It wasn't mm -hmm. the, I'm thinking about, it's like the brown one, right? I don't really remember too much. It's been yeah. since sixth grade. Yeah, so it's been a minute. Like, it's really been a minute, but I was the first chair on it. You feel me? So yeah. I knew how to do everything. Memory kind of like gone at this point of all things I done been through too much, but. Like, I done been through everything, man, with marching band. Yeah. I actually just writing my music, you feel me? So, came up to hear it on, on like, just talking about what, that, what I've been through, my yeah. pain, you know, trials okay. and tribulations, you feel me? So, I grew up in church as well, so it's a yeah. lot of music God in me, you know? Yeah, music all the way around. For sure, for sure. That's dope, that's dope. I'm going to go into a segment that I call personal preference. And basically what that is, is I'm going to give you two options and you choose which one you prefer more. Pretty simple. Right. All right, so the first one's gonna be pop out in a vet or a Range Rover? I say Range Rover. Okay, that's more more luxury. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Cozy too. Time travel to the past or the future? To the past. To the past, okay. Would you, would you go back and make a change or? No, but probably see something from a different perspe okay. perspective. Okay. You know? <laughs> I feel you that. Feel me? So, from a different okay. perspective, that's all. That's hard. Vacation overseas or to the Caribbean? <sighs> I ain't never been to either really both. Okay. So. That's hard. That's the I, first time anybody ever said both, so shout out to you. Okay. Hip hop or R&B? <laughs> I'm a little bit of both. I ain't gonna lie. Hip hop, I really grew up on a little bit more. Okay. I would say, but me personally, I would do both again. Like I love both of the cultures. You get okay. what I'm saying? So. 
Okay. Uh, major label or independent? Independent. Okay. That was quick. <laughs> <Independent>. <laughs> that was quick as hell. Hell yeah. <laughs> independent. Okay. Be rich with problems or poor with no problems? I would say be rich with problems. Okay. And the reason why I say that, because we're going to go through problems every day anyway. Okay. Okay. Fair no. enough. I rather, I really, really just had, you know, do something right with the money. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I'm going to deal with problems regardless when I'm poor, <laughs> regardless yeah. when I'm rich. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So. Okay. Home cooked meal or fast food? Home cook. Hey. I'm from the country, baby. <laughs> I'm from the country. Up. I need that big them beans and I okay. need all that. But if you're going fast food, what's your first choice? <sighs> American Deli. Okay. Shout out to the wings. Shout out to the A, no. be honest with you. <laughs> the lemon pepper. They put me on yeah, they all put me on to that. Okay. Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Okay. That was quick too. Not like us. It ain't even about that. <laughs> It ain't. I'm being honest. That's like, real. You was a Kendrick fan before the beat, I, like yeah, uh, yeah, they, both they of them. Though, don't get me wrong. Okay. I salute Drake. to Drake. You okay. get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like me, my, you know, my, my opinion. I just feel like yeah, I like you know Your personal preference. You get what I'm saying? Straight up. Uh, sign the QC or Maybach music. QC. QC, okay. <laughs> I don't like too much of what Rick Ross got going on right now, man. I ain't going to comment too much, but goddamn. <laughs> Feature with Quavo or Offset? <sighs> Offset. Okay, shout out Offset. Offset. Feature with Lotto or Megan Thee Stallion? Lotto. Big Lotto. Lotto. I ain't going to lie. Lotto. Shout out to Lotto. Oh, my gosh. Yes, the show. Uh -huh. She tough. Lotto. Megan Thee Stallion tough, too. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah. Lotto, I can I can see her personality through the lens. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I fuck with Lotto. Now I feel that. Um, last one for this segment. Perform at Coachella or the Grammys? Grammys. Grammys. Okay. Grammys. While, while you're accepting your award. Yeah, that'll yeah. be tough. Yeah. Okay. That'll be tough. Shout out that. We're gonna manifest that right for now. Sure. K-O-K. -K. Sure. Okay, okay. Winning the Grammy. <laughs> Man, that joint <laughs> out right now. Y'all gotta go get that thing. I'm telling you, chop some it up a stuff bit in more. store. Some <laughs> stuff in store. Big time. Let me ask you this. What has been the most challenging part um, on your journey so far as an artist? Being an artist and still being a person. Like, a human. Yeah. <laughs> going through emotions, going through life. Like, you gotta balance the two. Mm -hmm. But you really love something you really love to do, man. Being, music is just what speaks to me. It's just something I can vent through. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I just feel like it's hard to balance because you got to still stay focused on other goals and still try to make sure you're consistent in this life too. You know? So. No, I feel that. Like that's real. What um, outside of what you just said? <clears throat> what other advice can you give? those who experience what you just went what you went through keep going like you gotta keep going man like yeah. put, keep your head up make sure you keep god close everything else gonna follow yeah for that's, sure that's real for sure. Um, what do you see your career in the next five years at the top, at the well, top. I, where i want to be yeah not where everybody else want me to be where I need to be, you feel me? Straight up, okay. That's dope, that's real dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure though. What do you enjoy outside of making music? Cutting hair. Okay. Yeah, I cut my own hair, so. Hey. You know what I mean? You gotta get a good shot of that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I never um, knew Yeah, for sure. Okay. And I think that's another passion I love too. Yeah. So I wanna do both, okay. I wanna juggle both. One could spiral into the other. You just never know, you know? How long you been cutting here? Since, I would say 2016. Okay. 2016. That's hard. That's real hard. Um, let me ask you this. We know how the impact that Strength in Numbers made. How do you feel about that movement? <sighs> that John was... It was a, a, a great experience, I would say, because 
from all types of walks and lives, like everybody came together for one mission, you know? So it was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful to bring everybody together, especially for you, shout out to you, because if it wasn't for you, nobody would kind of be networking the way they are. Like now we're going to Miami, you know, I'm just saying everybody's yeah. strength in numbers wise, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but it's, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be keep, it's gonna keep it going. You feel me? It's gonna keep that ball rolling. Wherever yeah. everybody was at, I know they don't went to another level since then. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. Strength in numbers. Shout, shout out, out to ATL Gorilla, man. Hey. They shot all of them, <laughs> them, them bangers. <laughs> and my video, I feel like it came out so beautifully. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to ATL Gorilla, man. Street execs, all. Everybody who was involved with Strength in Numbers. Snook Nasty as well on the beat. Hey. For sure. Nasty. <laughs> yeah, shout out to everybody, man. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, who in your life has been the most supportive of your musical journey? <laughs> um, I would say T the Goat. Shout out T. Hey. Shout out to her. She in the back. <laughs> hey. In the cut. That's my dog, though. <laughs> like, I love her to death. But if it weren't for her, probably you wouldn't be here, for real. Yeah. Shout out to T, man. Solid. For real, for real. Hell yeah. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, <laughs> who would it be? I would say J. Cole. Just because he's from my yeah. Carolina, he's he from Carolina, <laughs> and he's he's really a solid. I could just tell, like he's a solid dude. Like, yeah. you know, he he stay low key, stay For out real. the way. He still his normal self, you know. Like, yeah, I fuck with him for real. Shout out to Cole. Anybody that's dead that you would love mm -hmm. to have done a collab with? I say Tupac for real. Pac, that'd be hard. Tupac. Yeah. yeah, cause he taught that he taught that soul. That's yeah. something I do. Yeah, we would have made bangers. <laughs> yeah, for real, I can see that. <laughs> we would have made bangers. That's hard. Describe your music in three words. Real, authentic. I guess is the same. I would guess, but uh, I would say it could be versatile. Okay. And. You're gonna feel it, soulfulness in it. Like real can be real, but soulfulness, you can feel that pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real anybody can talk about real. It's about how you really make that person feel when they listening to it. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I would say soulful as well. Okay. I feel that. We spoke a little bit about KOK. <laughs> yeah. Featuring, featuring Jazzy the Beast. Jazzy, Jazzy the Beast. Shout out to Jazzy. Yes, for sure. But yeah, for sure, it's out now um, on all platforms. Y'all can go get that KOK, -Okay. man. It's it's about to it's about to be lit. We about to turn it up all around the city. We're going crazy for sure. Tell me or tell us about the inspiration behind the record. You want to know really how it happened? One day, I was writing it and I I found the beat and it was like. I was like, man, this junk tough. I was like, let me just start writing on it. I recorded it off my phone. So I just have like a little, you know, track I can just reference. Mm -hmm. I went to Jazzy. We was ended up somewhere. We was actually filming one of the videos. And we was in the car. I let her hear it. And she was like, sis, she was like, I, I got to get on that. Yeah. And I was like, I want you on that. Like, there's going to be something that I know you're going to get crazy on. It's going to be something I could do. It's a female type of track anyway. So, Straight up. man, that jump, it's going to be, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. We done already done turned up again with you again on one of them showcases. Yeah. You know, performed that. Yeah, that so, the reaction from the crowd was crazy, you know? Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Um, what's one thing about you that you... Um, that your fan, fans would be surprised to know. You told us one, you're a barber. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, shoot. 
one thing they would be surprised about. Yeah. It can even be the process in which you record. Nah, everything I really do is right. I don't ever really punch in. Okay. You know, I just kind of, however I feel in that moment, whatever beat I like, whatever talks to me. Okay. Especially the hook. You know, I, I love melody, so. Yeah, that's that's how I would do it. You get what I'm saying? There ain't too yeah. many times I'm going to just try to be on the quick to do anything. Yeah. My stuff is always thought, thought out. Yeah, I've seen it personally in the studio. So yeah. it's tough. Yeah. For real, uh, for real. I appreciate you, bro. We're about to wrap it up, but let the people know where they can find you. And if you got any, any shout outs, you can throw it out there. Uh, shout out to my mom. Shout out to... Um, everybody with strength in numbers, everybody with who just supporting me in a sense, you know, it's all about growth. So in a sense of you can follow me anywhere, J Bless, J dot Bless underscore on Instagram and all, all my music platforms are J space Bless. So. Okay. Any final thoughts that you want to add? Any upcoming projects releasing? Yeah, um, I got a lot in store. It's going to be a lot that's going on before the 24th end. I promise you that. Okay. So. Straight up, man. Well, y'all already know. We lit. We live. For sure. Let's, Moves in motion. Let's, let's get, get it. it. Moves in motion. We out of here. Pockets on chicken, man. We getting bigger, man. Shit, what you figure, man. Diamonds on diamonds. Don't get just black.